Hey guys, it's Oz again, and this is episode 4 now, uh, in my beginner's guide to PI. On this episode we're going to actually expand our colony a little bit, and uh, actually start making something, so let's uh, get to it. So, what we have here, this is our, our plasma planet we have. If you remember, we are going to be making. Uh, ooh, promo. Uh, we're going to be making uh, enriched uranium. So we need to find heavy metals and noble metals. Put that in there. So, noble metals. What do we got? It's a little area. That's, a, that's the area I really like for some reason. And heavy metals. some good heavy metal spots here, noble metals, yeah, we'll put it here, okay, so this is what, this is the method I do, okay, and I find this method to be the easiest, there's a couple different methods, this is the method that I know that I have always found to work for me and to increase my profits, now, you have here, once you put your command center down, you have a couple different things. You have the extractor control unit, the processors, the storage facilities, spaceports, planetary links. At first, you don't even need to mess with storage facilities. They take up a bunch of, you know, CPU and power and everything. Don't even mess with those guys. Spaceport. This is what actually sends your, your items, your commodities, to and from the planet. So put that down. Now this is key, okay, this is very important, is you want to put that in a centralized location, okay, between what you're trying to extract, what you're trying to make. So heavy metals and noble metals. I want to put it somewhere that's kind of in between. So this is a good spot here. And then this is a good spot. So, you know, I think... I'm gonna put it there. Maybe there's over there. You kind of gotta find the right spot. Ooh, ooh. Noble metals. I think I'm gonna put it here. Okay. Yeah, right there. That looks like a good spot. Okay. So we're gonna put the spaceport down right here. Now, if you remember. Nothing is, nothing is uh, uh, finalized until you hit submit. So you can make a bunch of changes and then hit submit. We're gonna come back to that. Actually, I might as well just do it now. Submit. It's gonna cost you. It'll tell you how much the ISK it's gonna cost, and that comes out of your wallet. So now, random motorcycle driving by. Um, you, there's the, if you remember in episode one, we talked about the skills. And one of them was command center upgrades. And this is where it comes into play. Once you put down your command center, click on it. Okay. I've already upgraded mine as far as I can go, but it should be here, starting out. This button here, upgrade. This bar is going to pop up. This one is going to be green. These ones will be gray or red, depending on what level of command center upgrade you have. Upgrade it as high as you can go. This will allow you to put more modules down, more extractors, more links, more everything. Okay, more factories, more storage silos if you wanted to use them. So upgrade that as high as you want, or as high as you can. The, and remember, after you upgrade it, you have to hit submit. The wonderful thing about PI is that you can put this anywhere you want, okay? And you, uh, there it is. You, it doesn't need to be anywhere near your main thing. The launch pad is sort of like in this in this setup. The launch pad is the focal point of your uh, PI. So we have our launch pad down, okay? The this is why it's a focal point, is that it has, look at that, look at how much storage that has, 10,000 M3, 
and you need to use this anyways. Let me put down. Let me let's put down a silo for storing. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay, it has twelve thousand M3. Okay, but look at how much it took. Uh, how much? Uh, how much power it took? Oh no! What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing with my life. It took way more CPU and power than it did to put down the uh, the launch pad. That's what I uh, that's what I'm trying to say here, is that you don't need them at first. Uh, eventually you you will. Eventually you will. See, this is why <laughs> this is why you want to put your stuff centralized to the the command center. Because I don't know where it's at right now. After you get it set up, it's, it, you'll be easier to spot it, but it's over here somewhere. There it is, right there. After you get it set up, it'll be easier to, to spot. So this has, yeah, 12,000 M3. But it takes up more. Look at that. Look at how much power it took. That's a lot, okay? You always use up more power than CPU. And so that's a lot of power to be used. That's power that can be used to put down extractors. That's a lot of power. So we're not even going to mess with those right now. What we're going to do right now, okay, we're going to put down an extractor control unit. Whatever planet you're on, it's gonna, it'll say, you know, whatever extractor control, gas or lava or whatever. Click on it. You're going to get this thing, okay? This is, uh, it's in the center, and the white is the area it can mine around it, okay? So you kind of want to get it in a good spot. You can always move it later on, but you, you know, start at first. You kind of want to get it in a good spot that's not too far away from your launch pad. But you'll be able to mine, you know, a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, min uh, product, a lot of raw material. So I'm going to put this one here for now. Okay. Now you got to switch back to heavy metals. Once it pops up, remember the heavy metals. I'm going to put this other one right here. It's a good spot. Kind of, you know, a little bit far, but it's still good. Okay. Now, once you have that, okay, they're not active yet because you have to submit it still. Remember, but we're gonna we're gonna just set them up while we can. You got to connect it to your spaceport. This is what you connect them with. Planetary links. Click create link. You see? You see how much power I want to point out? Just two extractors put that much power. Two extractors. And we're not even done yet. So, that's why you don't want to use silos at first. At first. So, anyways. Click create link. Links are like, think of them like pipelines. It's gonna, or like conveyor belts. They're like, uh, yeah conveyor belts. They're going to take the stuff you extracted and they're going to take it to the launch pad. Alright. And then we're going to go here. Look at that. Okay. Now you can submit it. Now, okay, we're going to, you know, we'll start with this one. Okay. Go to, click on your extractor. Your extractor is like your oil derrick. Okay, it's going to say extracting nothing, etc. Et Go to survey for deposits. We want to look for heavy metals on this one here. Look at that, okay. At first, until you get a hang of it, I would suggest maybe only three. But once you get the hang of it, you can uh, certainly do it however you want. For now, just put three. Okay. Now, the extractor heads. That's what these guys are. It's going to make some cool sounds when you move them. The extractor heads. Okay. <laughs> I just love that sound. These will actually get bigger and smaller depending on this. This bar here. Now, I'll explain this bar right now. If you see here, the extractor head size will increase, but will also increase this number here. This is your program. This is how long these will run, these will mine by themselves, 
without you having to do anything at all. So I always set mine for three days. That's something I've kind of learned that seems to be, if you have it for smaller amounts, okay, if you have it, this this is your program, one hour, you're going to mine a bunch, but you have to recheck it in an hour. So for maximum sort of hands off, but you still get pretty good yields, three days is what I do. I mean, that's just in case maybe you are away for a day, you know, and uh, or something. You don't get a chance to check it. You can still make money. Um, I mean, you can even do it for a day if you wanted to. But I find three days is the perfect amount for the amount you'll get as compared to the, the, the time you put in. But everybody has their own thing. I use three days. Try, you know, try three days. You can always restart it, you know, and check up on it and restart it. So move these around. And you see there's a number change in there in extractor head units. Move them around until you find, you know, get the most. Get the most you can because that's what matters. That's how much minerals you're going to be extracting. How much, you know, um, raw materials. I keep saying minerals. I'm thinking Starcraft or something. So this little area over here looks like a good spot. Let's gonna move all our guys over there. Okay. Look at that. So I am gonna extract a total of 82, or excuse me, 821,123 units of heavy metal. Okay. And it's gonna extract 11,404 units per hour. That works perfect for me. After you get what you want, press install. Bam. Boom, it's going. Okay, but it's not done. It's not done. You still have to submit it here, you remember? But click in this. Click on your extractor. This is fucking key. Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> this is key. Uh, click on products. Okay. You're gonna get this. This is what the, this is what you're extracting right now. Click that. Then click create root. Okay. Then select your launch pad then click create route or route doesn't matter what you want to call it and after you're all done with that then you hit submit and then it's going to start going and then that's when it's going to start mining so i hope that was i made that as simple as possible i probably didn't but hey you know what are you going to do um I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this other one up and get this ready to go. And in the next episode, we're actually going to set up our factories. And I will show you the key why running it all off the launch pad is an awesome way to do it. So until next time, guys, fly safe. And, you know, most actually more important, fly smart. Fly smart. Don't just fly safe. Fly smart. It's all right to get a little crazy sometimes, but make sure you fly smart. This is Oz signing off, and uh, good luck out there.